Hey guys, welcome back to another Project Jarvis demo. Now, I've already recorded this video before, but it turns out it was too long. So, I'm going to try to cut down this video to about seven or eight minutes. We're going to get straight into it after this uh, quick intro. So, uh, what I've built here is a Project Jarvis Home Automation Server Box, also known as the Black Box, because it's a box that is black and uh, it also logs data, so it goes quite well with the name. Um, the reason why you see my face at the beginning of this video is just because I've been working very hard on Project Jarvis and there's other companies who uh, essentially t stealing my work so I'm just trying to get it out there that I am indeed the creator my name is Mary Singh I'm 20 years old and I live in South Africa that's just a uh, little bit of information about me and uh, I've made two previous videos already I have a website techniqueindustries.com and I also have a Project Jarvis AI page which I uh, post all these updates and stuff on so uh, yeah so firstly uh, before I get started with the actual video I just want to apologize for the audio quality I know it may not be the best um, but unfortunately, my Samsung camcorder, which is what I'm using to record right now, doesn't support uh, external microphones. So you guys will just have to bear with me. I'm going to try and make it as good as possible. And um, yeah, so I'm going to flip this camera and just get started with the video. Okay guys, welcome back. So what you're currently looking at right now is called the Project Jarvis Black Box. It is a box that's made out of black tinted perspex and um, it's got some transparency to it. It's about 30% transparent. And if I just pick it up and then pan around the sides, you guys will be able to see that it's an open-end design. So as you can see by the sides, it is completely open. That's to allow best airflow since this is a 24-7 running server and um, I'm not going to put any fans because that just attracts a lot of dust. So I just used some uh, steel risers to lift it off the base and then I screwed on the top perspex and you can see on the box we have an NFC tag which is in the bottom center of the box and then we also have a nice LCD notification display. Now if I just zoom out of here you guys can see what it looks like. It's actually embedded into the wall and everything is powered on. If you just uh, look down the bottom here you guys will be able to see that we have the Ethernet cable and then we have the main power supply which is currently off. It's being powered by a USB cable for now. Okay, so what I've done right now is I've simply just switched off the three main lights that I have in my room. Now, the three main lights I have is that fluorescent light right there. Then on the, behind me, we have 12 LEDs. And we also have this bed light, which I'm keeping on just to provide some backlight. And then we have the chandelier, which um, obviously there's no chandelier connected right now, so that won't work. But the most distinct light... Um, is this fluorescent light so what I've done here is I've built this web app which is actually running inside the black box and this is what the web app looks like you can access it from anywhere in the world uh, as long as you have an internet connection and these are some of the devices I have set up a study lights LED lights um, you guys can just check through the rest of them so the study light is basically what we're looking at right now and if I simply click on turn on study light it should turn it on so I'm just gonna click on it and as you guys can see the fluorescent light comes on. Now the delay that you see between uh, the relay turning on and the light turning on is obviously because it's a fluorescent light and uh, it is a bit of a delay. So if I simply click on turn off the study light, um, you guys can see it turns it on and then off. Now you guys can notice on our Project Jarvis main box, um, the black box, if I just zoom in here but you guys can see we have an LED notification basically telling you that that light is on and we also have notifications via the LCD which tells us it was switched via the web app and which lights is on the study light is on now I can do this with every single light that I have set up so if I decide to turn on the LED lights you guys can see we have another relay that's been lit up and it also tells us the LED lights are on I can do the same thing with the chandelier and also the bed light so I can simply turn them all off uh, I'm going to stop the LED lights. If I turn on the LED lights, I never actually showed you guys this, you can see these LED, uh, LED lights actually turn on and they look very nice. So let's go back to our main box and what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply just turn on uh, the bed light again. Uh, reason being is because I want to manually turn that switch off. So I can still work with these switches um, as if they were normal switches like in anyone else's house and I can use Jarvis to control them as well. So now that we have the backlight on, there's another thing to show you guys. We have uh, turn on all lights and turn off all lights. Now, I know it's not really focusing but you guys can make it out. So if I click on turn off all lights, every light has been switched off and then you can see we are in pitch black darkness. 
if I click on turn on all lights, you guys can see all lights have been successfully turned on. And if we zoom in onto our LCD notification panel, you guys can see it says switched via web. All lights are now on. And it'll do the same thing if you switch off all lights. And obviously you can have any number of combinations. I mean, you can just simply go and turn off the bed light if you wanted to. And you guys can see um, it does that just fine. So you aren't limited to turning on only one or two or three of the lights at a time. You can basically... Uh, turn on or turn off any light at any time you please so uh, For now, I'm going to turn on all the lights and I'm going to just switch off the chandelier because um, Nothing's actually connected to it So now that we have that done what I want to explain to you guys is something very interesting um, I have my phone with me. It's over there on the table. So uh, I just need to go fetch that in a second You guys can see I'm pointing the camera at my bedside table. So the reason for that being is because I have something very interesting to show you guys. Now, what this technology is called is called NFC. Um, you guys can see that right there is an NFC tag. Uh, it's not really focusing very well, but uh, you guys can see the two uh, copper prongs, which uh, obviously provides data and power to the NFC. So, um, just below this little mini hammer, I have an NFC tag. And let's say you want to go to bed. Uh, however, you don't want to wake up. You don't want to... Uh, you know manually get up and flick the switches or access it through the app so what you can do is usually when i go to bed the last thing i do is i put my phone on the table and then i go to sleep so i have a regular uh samsung galaxy note 2 with me there's an nfc tag on the back right above the samsung sign like i just showed you and all you have to do is merely place your phone on the table now once i place my phone on the table you guys will see what will happen good night sir i'll see you in the morning you can see the screen fades to black, which automatically is much more different to the regular Android um, Android screen, uh, which basically just goes straight off. So it fades to black, and it gives you a nice, uh, you know, nice uh, good night message from Jarvis himself. And you guys can see all the lights are off except for the LCD notification panel, which basically says uh, "Good night, uh, sweet dreams." Um, let me just zoom in here for a second. Okay, there we go. You can see it says "Switched via NFC." Um, this can cater for a lot of different devices, mobile, web, PC app. Uh, the PC app works with Android, Linux, Mac, and Solaris operating systems. So you can use it on any OS that you currently have. And it basically tells you uh, sweet dreams. Now, what you guys may have missed is um, that on the phone itself, it actually switches off notifications, dims the brightness on your screen, uh, switches off mobile and Wi-Fi data, and that essentially helps save money and conserve your battery throughout the night so once again i have my phone with me i'm just gonna uh, basically switch off everything once i turn everything back on so right now i'm just using my tablet and i've just uh, switched on all the lights and i'm gonna go to bed so i'm gonna place my phone down and you guys can see uh, the lcd notification and uh, stuff like that good night sir i'll see you in the morning so you guys can see it says good night sir first and then it switches off to sweet uh, sweet dreams and then um that is it. In the future, I will be adding a whole host of different stuff, really fun stuff as well. Um, I try to make this video as short as possible because the previous video I made was actually very long and uh, I got a few messages uh, about people telling me it was too long of a video. So uh, this is just a quick remake. Now, a very important thing that I need to mention before ending off this video is that all data is actually successfully logged. So when you go to bed, you can actually use it to keep track of your sleeping patterns and if there's other companies like Samsung who makes those fitness watches, you can uh, integrate it with that. Um, obviously, if they give me a job over there. And uh, it'll help keep track of your sleeping patterns. When you wake up as well, we have an NFC tag on the bottom of um, our Jarvis black box, as you guys can see right there. That is basically the good morning tag. It makes sure uh, all your lights are switched off, brings up the brightness on your phone, switches on mobile data, turns off Wi-Fi, and uh, basically gets you ready for uh, your day profile. Now when you um, tap your phone on the back of that NFC tag, it basically also gives you notifications and um, scheduled alerts. However, mine does not currently work very well, so I'm not gonna be showing you something broken in this video right now. Uh, like I said, this is a prototype version two, hopefully by version three, it'll have a lot more functionality. I'm gonna be adding light sensors, temperature sensors, humidity sensors, and um, current weather, date time, and a whole bunch of other stuff, which will be all displayed onto that very handy LCD notification panel so i just want to say thank you for watching this video if you did enjoy it please don't forget to leave us a comment like subscribe also check out the description you guys can invite me on facebook check out my facebook page i post uh, screenshots almost immediately after i finish working on something um, 
and you guys can check out a lot of other fun stuff. We've got some cool people over there. Um, so yeah, once again, guys, thanks for watching.